Good evening, and welcome to Thai BBS World. All eyes were on China today, as it celebrated the 70th anniversary of the founding of the republic. Besides the military might that was in full display at the grand parade at the Tiananmen Square, President Xi Jinping also sent out a strong and unmistakable message to the rest of the world. China's most advanced weapons, some making their debut, were put on display at the military parade at Tiananmen Square this morning, as the Chinese leadership and people celebrated the 70th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. Among them were nuclear-capable missiles designed to evade U.S. defense systems and with the capability of hitting U.S. mainland. Rows of soldiers marched in lockstep past the top Chinese leadership as fighter jets flew low overhead with thousands of spectators cheering and waving Chinese flags. Under a hazy sky, President Xi Jinping, wearing a Mao suit and flanked by his two predecessors, former Presidents Jiang Zemin and Hu Jintao, appeared on the balcony of the Forbidden Palace overlooking Tiananmen Square. It was the same spot from which Mao Zedong proclaimed the founding of the Republic in 1949, following a communist victory. In the brief speech, President Xi spoke of the struggles the country had gone through before it embarked on the path toward the great rejuvenation of China. He also appealed for people's loyalty to the Communist Party. No power can shake the status of our great motherland. No force can stop the progress of the Chinese people and nation, he said to Lao Chiyas. The celebration in Beijing took place as pro-democracy protesters in Hong Kong continue their demonstrations, which have now entered their 17th week. Police had to fire tear gas to break up pockets of demonstrations this afternoon. Without addressing the unrest in Hong Kong, President Xi, however, vowed to uphold the one country, two systems principle to ensure Hong Kong's and Macau's prosperity. Dr. Panitan Watanayagon, an international relations expert and a former advisor to Deputy Prime Minister Bavit Wong Suwan, said that China wanted today's parade to send out an unmistakable message about its military might. Though China is far from superseding the U.S. as the leading military power in the region, it has made extraordinary progress in its military might over the past decade. His view is also shared by Dr. Am Tang Yiran, a China expert from Jurulongkorn University. We can see from President Xi's speech mm. that he is really emphasized mm. uh, the unification uh, of the People's Republic. Mm. And especially, I think, it projects the sense of nationalism mm. uh, and also the sense that China is now preparing uh, to come back you know, from the last century, which a lot of people call century of humiliation, right, uh, into a new century of prosperity and development. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the speech, uh, he talked about the Chinese dream, mm -hmm. uh, which is the uh, great dream of the national rejuvenation, mm -hmm. right? the, the, the coming back uh, of the People's Republic into the world stage as a powerful nation. As its economic power and military might grow, China has become a major challenge for countries in the region. Both Dr. Panitan and Dr. Arm would want to see Thailand strike a right balance in its relationship with China and the United States. We, we are now living in a very interesting time uh -huh. uh, because we often talk about disruption. Okay. Uh, but when we talk about disruption, we often thought about technological disruption. But there's another important disruption, which is the geopolitical disruption. Uh, and that's uh, one of the key factors here is the rise of China. Mm -hmm. right? So I think that uh, there's it's huge implications uh, for Thailand uh, to adjust into the new world. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have to understand that uh, this is not the time that we say China is repressing the U.S., okay. but it's the time of rivalry mm -hmm. between China and the U.S. And as a nation, you know, 
uh, as a developing nation, I think that we need to balance uh, between these two, two superpowers uh, and then uh, take this uh, rivalry as an opportunity for us also to negotiate uh, for our interests. And that's all for Thai PBS World tonight. Thank you for watching.